Hello guys, what is going on? My name is Sam, or Chaotic, and welcome back to another GTA 5 video here on my channel. Now in today's video, I'm going to be showcasing the brand new Imponte Deluxo. This being the flying car, which you can now purchase in GTA Online from today with the Doomsday Heist update. You can purchase this from the Warstock Cash and Carry website either at a trade price of $3,550,000, or at a buy it now price of $4,721,500. So of course it is recommended to unlock that trade price, you'll save yourself over a million dollars on the price, and in fairness isn't too difficult to actually unlock, just complete the associated Deluxo mission and you'll save yourself over a million dollars when you go to buy the car. Either way though, in my opinion, this vehicle is very well priced very reasonable in comparison to some of the other special vehicles we have in game, especially seeing that from standard this has both a hover and a flight mode. And what's good about this as well, it is not limited to a certain amount of time or a certain amount of height or distance or anything like that, it is completely unlimited. So you can use this hover and flight mode for as long as you want, whenever you want in game unlike most special abilities other vehicles in the game have. So this instantly makes the Imponte Deluxo one of the best, if not the best, special vehicle that we have in GTA Online. There is one thing though I will say about its flight mode, that being it's not all that fast. In fact, just driving around is faster than its travel speed whilst flying, so in some situations you may just want to fly, but depending on what you want to do, whether it's maybe cross terrain or go over buildings and stuff like that, then of course its flight mode will come in use. And of course when you get to doing missions, whether it's the new heists or just the business stuff in general, you'll find this car particularly useful getting from A to B. But even just in free mode, it is a cool car to have and it's fun to fly around in. So I'd expect this car over the next few days and weeks to become one of the most popular ones in GTA Online. Moving on though to the customizations, there are quite a few upgrades available for the Deluxo, but if you want to customize it, it can only be done so in the vehicle workshop in the back of the Avenger. So if you want to customize this car, you'll have to own a new business facility, the Avenger, and a vehicle workshop in the Avenger itself. So it will cost you a few million dollars to set this sort of stuff up, but of course these facilities can be used for other things as well. And once you have these things and you go and customize it, like I said, there are quite a few customizations, some things you definitely want to fit to this. Now, of course, there are the standard sort of upgrades available for this, things such as the armor, the brake, and the engine upgrades. But there are also plenty of unique customization options too. And in fairness, each category has quite a few options available in each. So I've already upgraded the exhaust and the front bumper, as you saw a few moments ago. Now I'm in the grills category, and again, we have like 11 different choices in here. I ended up selecting the badged great mesh, I thought that one was kind of cool, the small badge in the middle of it. Then onto the hoods category, again a few options in here. I ended up selecting the race vents one though, that one in my opinion was definitely the best option. Then onto horns, I fitted the truck horn and of course upgraded the lights to xenon. At first I wasn't too sure about a neon kit and then decided this is the back to the future car. So I thought loads of lights was a good idea. I ended up selecting the front, back and side neon kit and left that white. Then as for plates, I then went ahead and fitted my custom chaotic plates, which unfortunately isn't centered. As for respray, I usually come back to that last, so we'll go back to that later on. As for skirts, I then selected the black vented skirts. You can't quite see it in here, unfortunately, because you can't really move around too much inside the Avenger. Onto spoilers, though, again, loads of options to choose from. You guys can go for something pretty big like the Super Spoiler or the Carbon Race one. I went for this sort of ducktail one. I thought that was kind of cool, so I selected that. And, of course, upgraded the transmission and the turbo. Weapons, this is definitely something you guys want to consider fitting. You can fit mounted MGs and missiles to this in the front bumper, as you can see. The mounted MGs aren't that great, but it comes with missiles as well. So you can obviously cycle between those, and once you run out of missiles, you can just go back to the mounted MGs and use those instead. I guess apart from just shooting out tires, they aren't really that useful or that powerful. But as for the missiles, just like on the Vigilante, the Oppressor, and the Ruler 2000, they're extremely powerful, and of course will lock into vehicles as well and take those out with just a missile or two. As for wheels, I then selected this set. I can't even pronounce the words, I'm not even going to try, but I thought those were kind of cool. Although later on I'd probably go back and change the wheel color back to the gray. I thought that was much better than the black that I selected, but I couldn't really see too much inside the Avenger because the lighting in here is very, very limited. 
Then as for the color on this car, I think it looks kind of cool in the classic gray or silver this car is well known for. So I ended up selecting that one, both primary and secondary. Anyway, so there we go. There are quite a few things that you can do to this in the terms of customizations to upgrade it both aesthetically and in the terms of its performance. But if there's anything you guys are going to do to this in the terms of upgrades, make sure you fit the weapons. You don't have to unlock them via research, unlike with some of the stuff in Gunrunning. They're available straight away when you go and customize this vehicle, so definitely fit those if you can afford it. They are expensive, $200,000, but you get yourself both the MG and, of course, a missile launcher. Both of those will, of course, come in handy, and you can use those either when you're driving around or flying in the hover mode. Anyway, so there we go then guys, that is it then for this vehicle, the new Imponte Deluxo. Is this car worth buying? Yes, 100%. This will be one of the best, if not the best vehicles in GTA Online, and one which I'm sure all of you guys will want to buy and own. With that being said, I of course want your thoughts and feelings on this. Are you guys... Are you guys going to buy one if you haven't already? So go ahead and let me know right now by leaving a comment. Make sure you drop a like on this video as well, as it helps me out a lot and it's greatly appreciated. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, make sure you do, because I upload all the latest and the greatest Grand Theft Auto 5 content. So as always guys, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.